What does it mean if we say a number is a solution to an equation? Let's explore this by looking at the equation 5x equals 50. This equation says if we take a number and multiply it by 5, we get 15. If you ask ourselves the question, what number multiplied by 5 is 15, hopefully we can easily see that that is 3. And so we say x is 3 is a solution to the equation. And we say that it is a solution to the equation because when we put x equal to 3 into the equation, it makes the equation true. If we put x equal to 3 in here, we get 5 times 3, which is equal to 15. So x equal to 3 is a solution to the equation. Let's look at something that isn't a solution. For example, x equal to 2 is not a solution to this equation. Why? Because if we put x equal to 2 in this equation, it won't be true. Let's see. Let's put x equal to 2. What we're going to get is 5 times 2, which is 10. And 10 is not equal to 15. What if you were asked, is x equal to 1 a solution to the equation x squared plus 3 equals x cubed minus 2? I'm not expecting you to be able to solve this equation at all. What we're wanting to ask is whether x equal to 1 is a solution of this equation. In other words, if we put x equal to 1 in place of x, will we get exactly the same here as we get here? Well, let's have a look. When x equals 1, the left-hand side of the equation is going to be 1 squared plus 3, which is 1 plus 3, which is 4. And when x equal to 1, the right-hand side of the equation is going to be 1 cubed minus 2, which is 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So when we take the value x equal to 1, this side of the equation gives us the answer 4, this side gives us the answer 1, negative 1, and 4 is not the same as negative 1. In other words, putting in x equal to 1 in the equation does not make the equation true, does not make the two sides of the equation equal to each other. And so our answer is no, x equal to 1 is not a solution to the equation.